are. Take a look here. Tr President Trump's transition net approval. You go back to November of 2016. Look at this. It was just a plus one point. Just at plus one point, that was well, well, well below the historical norm. Look at where we are today, significantly higher, plus 18 points. That's 17 points higher on the presidential transition net approval rating. The bottom line is this. If eight years ago Americans were lukewarm on Donald Trump, at this particular point they're giving him much more of the benefit of the doubt. A lot more Americans are in love with this transition. This much more meets the historical norms where normally presidents get that boost coming out of their victory. And what we're seeing here is Donald Trump's presidential transition is getting a thumbs up and dare I say two thumbs up from the American people. Wow, CNN just admitted that the American people love that Trump is back. They love that Trump is going to be the 47th president of the United States. Oh boy. You heard that. You did. It, 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 it. Hey. CNN. And you know, we're still on the appointment phase at this point, but it does give insight to sort of where this team is thinking to lead some of these key departments, of course. I mean, but how do people feel about the prospects of, of his presidency, given the context of some of these picks? Yeah, it's not just that they like what Donald Trump is doing right now. They're optimistic for the future. So again, let's compare ourselves now versus where we were eight years ago. And what you see eight years ago, 53 percent of Americans were scared or concerned, the majority towards the upcoming Trump term. Look at where we are now. The shoe is on the other foot. 53 percent of Americans are excited or optimistic. It's flip flop where a majority, a narrow majority eight years ago were scared or concerned about the upcoming Trump term. Now what we see is that the majority is excited or optimistic about the Trump term. So what we're just seeing is very different numbers from where we were eight years ago. Eight years ago, folks really were not that in love with the Trump transition. Now they are. And more than that, looking forward to the upcoming Trump term for eight years ago, the majority were scared or concerned. Now the majority are excited or up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look what Kamala senior advisor just admitted. When we got in, my recollection is some of that snapback, but you know, we were behind. I mean, I think it surprised people because there was these public polls that came out in late September, early October showing us with leads that we never saw. You know, I mean, it was just basically a race that in the battlegrounds was 46, 47, 47, 48. So that's not where we started. We started behind. She was able to climb out. I think even after the debate, we might have gained, what, 0.51. It wasn't a race that moved a lot. And so I think when you think about our own internal analytics, you know, if you have if Wisconsin at 47, 47, um, or Pennsylvania 48, 47 Trump, let's say, which I think is where we had it at the end, you know, you've got to have undecided to break your way more than your opponents, and you've got to get a little uh, benefit from turnout, which we weren't able to do. And wait, wait just a second. We got to show you a clip that the fake news doesn't want to show you. The side they don't want you to see of President Trump. Check this out. So President Trump plays with LT a lot. Yeah, he's a lot tougher than LT. This kid. He's better than LT. He's a lot tougher. I can tell you that. Everything good? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, handsome guy. Yeah. Yeah. Stay right there. Take it. I can't. I'm. Let's get a good response. Yeah. That's his father's Kyle. Yeah, they're all right here. I'll tell you. He's been looking in his father. No doubt. Thank you so much. How can you not love this guy, man? 40 hours from California. He was president. But man, aren't we looking forward to this? Are y'all ready for this? Check this out. Between you people, don't ask, don't talk to me that way. You're just a you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. Wait, take the take the well, I'll give you voters. I, I will give you voter suppression. You just have to sit down, please. Sit down. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's okay. President. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. How many cases were in the United States when I did my ban? How many people had died in the United States? Would you acknowledge that you didn't think Keep your voice down, please. Spread? Keep your voice down. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? 
What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. You didn't let me ask my question. You, you've my been question asking a question for 10 no, minutes. So please sit question. down. The argument is that you bought yourself some time. You didn't use it to prepare hospitals. You didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're now, so, you're, so, you're so disgraceful. It's so disgraceful the way you say that. Yeah. Look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake. <laughs> and most of you, and not all of you, but the people are wise to you. That's why you have a lower a lower approval rating than you've ever had before, times probably three. What do you say the Americans were scared, though? I guess nearly 200 dead, 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. <laughs> You've said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting they don't actually need. You said New York might need, I, that I might not need thirty thousand. You said it on Sean Hannity's Fox News. You said you know, that why you don't, might. Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't state, you act? Why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to my get question you, to you. Get you. Get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you, people, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. And again, how can you not love this man? We are so back. And again, they do not want you to see clips like this of President Donald J. Trump. I repeat, they do not want you to see clips like this of the so-called racist. Hitler, threat to democracy. The, you know, but I say constitutional republic. Republic? But, uh, people's president, man. And their rhetoric, their hatred, their derangement didn't win. And people are more happy than ever that this man is back. Check this clip out. We are back, man. Look at that. That's what it's all about right there, man. That's how we're going to actually end this video. Not a long video, man. You know, but we are back, y'all. People are happy. Things are changing. Killing. And there's already been big changes since he hasn't he hasn't even stepped in the office yet. You know? But it's prayers until January uh, 20th. But you can already see things are already in motion. You know? Things are already, you know, are being removed, banned. People are stepping down. You know? They're removing certain things that was in place. They're canceling DEIs, wokeness. You know, people are getting their act together. Just look around the world right now. He's back, man. We are back. We are so back. God bless America, man. God bless all you beautiful people around the world. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. What do y'all think of this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will catch you beautiful people. And the next one, peace and love, y'all.